Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the Gossip Closet, where we get to gossip all about perfumes and everything in between. So, let's get started. Alright you guys, so in today's video, in today's video, we're gonna be gossiping about a brand new perfume that I recently got. I got this perfume about a month ago, I wanna say, and I've been trying it out, and I've been trying to get this video out. So we're finally doing it. And I have here none other than Givenchy. I believe this is pronounced Linter... Linterdy? Linterdy El de Parfum Rouge All Time. I'm pretty sure that's French for Ultimate. Maybe, I don't know, but it's the newest red one that comes in this really, really, like, really sexy uh, red bottle. Now, there is another one that comes in a red bottle, but I think that red is a lot more darker and a lot more burgundy. This one is a little bit more on the bright side. So, we have the newest Givenchy perfume, and this is Linter D. El de Parfum Rouge Ultimate. I did get the 1.7 fluid ounce. I got this from the Givenchy website and I believe I paid 120 plus taxes and shipping. Now, I do like my Givenchy perfumes. I like to say it like that, Givenchy. Givenchy or whatever you want to say it, however you want to say it. But um, I do like my Givenchy perfumes. I think they have a lot of great perfumes and I do have a few of them in my perfume collections. I think this is a really great house. A little bit expensive, but definitely worth the penny. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna gossip all about this perfume because I do have some thoughts and opinions. So let me open it up and let's get to the scents. Okay, first of all, I have to say, I really love the bottle. I really love the packaging. I, th I mean, the packaging is a little bit simple. It's just a red box, but it's a sexy red. I really like the, the packaging. I think it's just really, really sexy. But the bottle, the bottle, these bottles are just really, really beautiful. I've always been a fan of the Linter, Linter D line. I think it's a really, really nice line. Definitely a very intense line, uh, but my favorite one is the red one, the other red one, and the original one. So we have now this one, and I believe this is the fifth one in the Linter D line. I could be wrong. I think there might be more. Okay, I'm looking at the website. I think it's the fifth one. I think this is the fifth flanker that they've released. So this is supposed to be a floral, woody, warm perfume. Perfect for the, the fall. Uh, winter so it's definitely one of those really good perfumes so this one has top notes and I'm reading the notes from the Givenchy website so they I mean they added like these fancy words uh, for the notes so this one has top notes of Neroli from Tunisia Orange Blossom Absolute from Tunisia Sandbag Jasmine Absolute from India uh, the hard notes which are the middle notes are Tuberose Absolute from India Cocoa Shell Extract from Madagascar and the base notes are Patchouli Heart Essence from Indonesia and Vetiver Essence from Haiti and Ambrixen. I mean, that's kind of cute, you know, like a little bit bougie, like oh, this is, this is the patchouli, you know, from, you know, from India, like this is <laughs> Madagascar from Indonesia, like, I guess that's cool, right? It's like more... It makes you feel like it's a it's even more of a bougier perfume that they let you know where the notes come from but yeah you guys so like i said i've been wearing this perfume for it's probably been a month and i have to say listen i'm not picky when it comes down to perfumes but i absolutely love this perfume i really love this perfume maybe i should make a negative video where it's like i talk about all the perfumes that i just don't like because it seems like every time i do a video like this one i love every perfume but this one oh my god you guys this is so freaking amazing this is so freaking good definitely a fall type of perfume definitely a winter type of perfume yeah, this is very, very similar to the other red one. It, it's almost, I don't want to say almost identical because obviously it is going to be a little bit different, but it is very, uh, I don't know, it's very sweet. Very, very sweet, yet woodsy and floral. This is definitely an intense perfume. It is so, so crazy intense. You don't have to spray this perfume a lot. Personally, I do because I just, you need to look at me. I'm a Leo, so I, <laughs> I want to make sure that I get compliments. I want to make sure that you know that I'm wearing a really good, expensive perfume. And that is that is literally what I get out of this perfume. I get a lot of compliments of this perfume. So yeah, this one 
it smells um how do i say it it smells a little bit fruity um not fruity as in tropical but like a like a bitter orange like a, a really really strong bitter orange it's almost smells like orange juice but also sweets a little bit powdery and a little bit lotiony so reading the notes from fragantica the notes are a, a little bit different than the ones on the websites i don't know where they get their notes because the notes are literally on the websites so this one has cacao pod indian two rows i mean it did say that it had indian two rows uh but it has indonesia patchouli leaf ambrixen haitian vetiver and tobacco so mm, yes it comes off a little bit like tobacco but this is more of a sweet sense this is definitely a sweet sense i'm kind of getting something like creamy something salty like uh like salty sea salt chocolate caramel type of scent out of this perfume it's really beautiful you guys it's really really beautiful yeah but it's also very it's a bitter perfume it's also very powdery but you can smell that two rose you can smell that jasmine you can smell that those fresh florals but for some reason it doesn't come off like uh like bad it's not like an old lady type of scent it's really not but it is a very mature type of perfume this is something that you would want to wear on day nights you know this is this is a sexy perfume for sure this is a day night uh maybe at the club if you're celebrating like your birthday and you want attention this is the one to wear uh, a sexy day night with your loved one this is what you would want to wear i would picture someone someone wearing a beautiful red dress or a beautiful red something red uh, and you wear this it would go along perfectly with what you're wearing this is a beautiful scent and like I said this perfume does come off a little bit woodsy it does smell like wood but like something creamy and woodsy it does have that that hint of um, tobacco maybe a little bit like leathery but it's not it, it literally does not smell like a fresh brand new car like leather that that leather that a, that a new car has no but it does have that hint of leather it does have that kind of hint of like something smoky uh when i first saw the promotional pictures for this it does have like a it was like a burning fire picture and i mean yes it kind of does smell like a like a bonfire it's a little bit smoky like that but it still comes off very sweet and a little bit fruity like i said it comes off like a um a bitter orange a bitter orange orange juice but just very uh bitter but yet sweet creamy and powdery it, let me just say this if you have the original one the other red one i which i do have if you have this one you're gonna like this one because it's very very similar i wish it would have been a little bit different because it is very very similar uh when i first got this one again i was really really in love and like i said one or two sprays of these perfumes is gonna get you through through the day so yeah so it is very similar uh but I, I have to say this one right here the other red one comes off this one comes off a little bit more green and earthy it's still really really nice and sweet like a dark cherry that's what i'm getting a dark cherry from both of them but yeah this one is a little bit more on the green side a little bit more on the earthy side like uh wet grass or wet wood with trees and it just comes out very like that yet still sweet but it is a, a bitter perfume this one on the other hand comes off more woodsy and sweet yet fruity i don't know which one i like more i mean i really do like this one but every time i wear this one and i smell this one i fall in love with this perfume all over again they're just both really great scents now you might ask me if i have this one do i really need this one or if i get this one would i really need this one i'm gonna say no if i was to choose between one of these two it's really hard for me to say which one but if i have to choose one right now i would probably go with the, the newer one only because this one comes off more sweet it's still very powerful it's still very similar to this one but this one comes off a little bit more on the sweeter side kind of like like i said like uh sea salt chocolate maybe a little bit of vanilla because it does come off very creamy it comes off sweet but yet it's still very like 
leathery, woodsy type of perfume. This is a bold, bold scent, but I love it. I really, really, really do love this perfume, you guys. I've been enjoying it since the day I got it. Um, I didn't get the bigger bottle because I was a little bit hesitant to blind buy the bigger bottle. I bought so many, I blind bought so many bigger bottles, like the bigger size. And I was very disappointed, but every time I buy the smaller bottles, it's like I end up loving it. So it's a give or take situation. So I'm going to wear this perfume today. I'm going to do one, two, three, and just one more on my skin, really close to my skin. You guys, those five sprays are going to last me about eight hours. That's how good this perfume is. The, the longevity on this perfume is just so, so beautiful. You know what's crazy? Wow, right now, as I sprayed it on myself, it kind of smells like pink bubblegum. Wow, but it smells really, really good. You guys, do not sleep on this perfume. If you are a fan of the Linter D perfumes and the Linter, v, Linter D line from Givenchy, I think you're going to like this one. There, there's no exception for this perfume compared to all the other ones. It does have that DNA that all the other ones do have. I don't have the original ones and I don't have the black one, which I really want to get my hands on. I do remember liking the black one. So that is the next one on my wish list. Uh, but yeah, I really like this one. I'm really enjoying this one. I have gotten compliments with this one. So definitely try it out, especially if you are into those really strong floral sweet woodsy almost leathery tobacco -y type of perfumes it's not a nasty scent and it's not i don't know it's not too intoxicating but it is a very long lasting perfume i do think this would be a unisex type of perfume it does lean a little bit more towards fe uh, a feminine scent but i honestly think a a guy can pull this off like a like a firm guy you know wearing a tuxedo if if a guy wearing a tuxedo passes by me and has this i would not think this is oh he's wearing a woman's perfume you know what i mean you can wear whatever you want but um yeah this is definitely to me i would consider a unisex type of per perfume even though it does lean a little bit more towards feminine but i love it i freaking love it and i would highly recommend this one I wish they would have came out with a different color than this red, even though it's two different reds. Um, the only thing that's different is just the name. So yeah, you guys, we have here Lenter D by Givenchy, and this one's called El de Parfum Rouge All Time or Ultimate. I think All Time, Ultimate is the same thing in French. I could be wrong. <laughs> Don't quote me on that one, but yeah, I really... Ah, oh, it smells so good. I've really been enjoying this perfume and I would highly, highly recommend this one for sure. But right, you guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. That is pretty much it for today's review. I'm so happy with my purchase, but I would like to know, as always, are you interested in getting this perfume? Do you want to get this perfume? Or if you already got this perfume, are you enjoying it as much as I am? You guys, give me a little bit more time. I have so many perfumes that I've been buying. I have the Prada one. I have the... The chocolate one, I forgot what the name of it, the, the chocolate bar one. I have, uh, which other ones? I have so many, so many reviews coming out uh, this week. So little by little, you know, I'm getting there. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give this video a huge thumbs up. If you're new here and you are obsessed, I'm talking about obsessed with perfumes like myself, then stick around, click that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and you will get notified for every single time I upload. You guys know the deal with that. But all right, you guys, as always, thank you for watching, and I can't wait till we gossip on the next one. Until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.